Hi folks, uh, welcome back. In this video, I have thought about discussing why the satellites that orbit our Earth does not fall. Earth's gravity extends well beyond our atmosphere. Most of you know that moon is held by Earth's gravity and does not escape into space. Similarly, there is International Space Station, which we call ISS, or Hubble Telescope, several other communications and GPS, weather, and other ap applications orbit the Earth. Now, before I get into the main uh, discussion, you know there are, as of, as of last year, actually, 2021, we have roughly about 4,550 satellites that are orbiting our planet. And most of them are in the low Earth orbit. It's about roughly around 3,800. Uh, they call the low Earth orbit or LEO. And there are about 565 of them are in the geosynchronous orbit and roughly about 140 in the medium Earth orbit. And there are also about roughly over 55 that are having elliptical orbit around Earth. Now back to the question, why all these satellites within the range of Earth's gravity, yet as rule, they don't usually fall from the sky? Let's now dive into the topic and see why not. Now, let's see the concept of falling without landing. These satellites don't crash back to Earth for the same reason, like if an astronaut are weightless on International Space Station. Both are in free fall. When I say free fall, it's state of eternally falling, but never hitting anything because down has moved by the time the object gets there. This is truly interesting. Just envision the fragmenting, the act of falling into a tiny interlude of time. Each moment, the object falls towards the center of the Earth, but the Earth itself is moving around the object. So the, so the place the object is aiming at us down constantly changing. The free fall concept is achieved when an object orbits the Earth at the right speed to counteract the, pull, the gravity. Please know that this does not mean the object is not subject to gravity. It is constantly evading the consequences of hitting the Earth's surface. The speed the object must travel to avoid falling is subject to the force of gravity acting on the object. The mass of the object makes no difference. For example, moon or communication satellite needs to go at the same speed if it was at the same altitude. The speed at which both travels matter at the same altitude to offset the gravity. But for some reason, if a satellite starts to orbit within the atmosphere, the drag from the air molecules would slow it down further. This will happen so quick and the satellite will soon crash into surface. Therefore, Scientists and engineers who are working on placing the satellite will not want satellites hanging around within the atmosphere. Fun facts, weight and mass. Both are not same thing, but we interchangeably use these words. Weight is the effect of gravity acting on mass. For example, an object with fixed mass of 100 kg will be heavier on Earth than somewhere with lower gravity such as Moon or even planet Mars. On Earth, your mass and weight are the same because it's Earth's gravity. It's constant, one. Astronauts on the Moon have the same mass but their weight is around a tenth of what it is here on Earth. Therefore, an astronaut on moon can easily lift a hundred kilogram because the object will be 
only way close to 10 kg. Orbits are divided into bands. With low Earth orbit, LEO, anything below the altitude of 2,000 km. Medium Earth orbit at 2,000 km to 35,786 km and high Earth orbits above 35,786 km from Earth's surface. Most satellites, roughly 3,790 of them, are in LEO at an altitude of 650 km. The precise altitude of 35,786 km is known as geosynchronous orbit. Here, the satellite will be traveling at the exact rotation speed of Earth. The rotation speed of Earth is roughly 1,600 km per hour. There are 565 satellites that are geostationary and mostly used for telecommunication and to observe the Earth. At the geosynchronous location, it is easy for communication satellites to relay signals between fixed points on Earth. Beyond the geosynchronous orbit is an area known as the graveyard orbit, where the old satellites are sent to die. Here, they just carry on orbiting out of the way endlessly, but it's getting crowded as space junk. It is becoming an increasingly dangerous place for spacecrafts launched from Earth. The ISS travels around 27,600 km per hour at an altitude of 330 to 435 km. Fun fact, the crew in the ISS sees sunrise every 90 minutes. These non-geostationary satellites use for applications such as for surveying and weather forecasting. Isaac Newton published the Law of Universal Gravitation in 1687. He established that the force of gravity is inversely related to the square of the distance between two objects. What does this mean? Simply, if you double the distance between two objects, the force of gravity operating between them is merely 25% of what it was. When measuring Earth's gravitational pull, the center of the Earth is the starting point for the measurement. Therefore, the course of gravity we experience every day is that at the Earth's surface 6,371 kilometers from the center. The force of gravity diminishes as we get further away from Earth. Earth pulls the moon and similarly the moon pulls the Earth. There is a point where moon's gravity and Earth's gravity are exactly equal and balance each other out. If you drop an object at this balancing location and with no acceleration, the object will remain suspended. This neutral point is known as Lagrange point, named after the Italian astronomer Joseph Louis Lagrange, 1736 to 1813, who first calculated these neutral points between two big bodies. There is also a Lagrangian point between the Earth and the Sun. There are satellites placed at this Lagrangian point to study the Sun, map the universe, and study the age of the cosmos, like the James Webb Space Telescope. Now back to the object that is suspended at the neutral place between the Moon and the Earth. Suppose the objects are a little closer to the Moon, then they will fall and crash. Earth's mass is 81 times that of the Moon. As the gravity follows Newton's inverse square law, the neutral point that I'm discussing between Earth and the Moon is about 9 times as far from the Earth as from the Moon. It is about 340,000 kilometers. It is not a single stable point because neither the Earth or the Moon is a perfect sphere or smooth. There is also variation in the density of each, which means gravity is not equal all over the surface. Also, the orbit of the Moon is not truly circular, but rather elliptical. Therefore, the exact neutral point between Earth and the Moons get affected. When the Himalayas get between the Earth and the Moon, then the neutral point will get affected. As the Moon is orbiting the Earth and both are moving through the space around the Sun, 
The neutral point also orbits the Earth lying on line between the center of the Earth and the center of the Moon at a particular moment. Now the finishing remarks. All object needs energy to leave the surface of the Earth. The fuel energy is required not for sending the satellite up the world, but to accelerate it to the right speed for its orbit. Honestly, space is not far, merely 100 kilometers or roughly 62 miles from Earth's surface. The real challenge is velocity escape. The required acceleration to escape Earth's gravity is 8 kilometers per second or 5 miles per second. Therefore, the rocket which is carrying the satellite will have to burn on so much fuel to escape Earth and orbit in space. Once in orbit, the object needs no fuel to burn all the time, but just needs a little energy to correct itself if it starts to drift. This is usually happens with time where the satellite starts to lose speed. So it is not able to offset the gravitational pull of Earth. If engineers don't correct it, then the satellite will burn or break up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. The friction between air molecules and the material of the satellite produces sufficient energy to destroy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also share it with friends and families. Please subscribe if you haven't my channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, cheers. Great day.